This is Code.org. I'm working on their CS Principles course. I'm on Unit 3, Intro to Programming, Lesson 9, Looping and Random Numbers, Part 6. Now try it. Looping with random values. If you add some randomness to turtle behavior inside a loop, the program will run a little differently every time. Every time, which can make for some cool effects. You're about to see a program in which the turtle moves to a random location each iteration, don't let that word scare you, each time we loop. Iteration, because we're iterating through a number, we're adding to a number. So each time we loop, we draw a different dot. Each iteration up the loop, and draws a randomly sized dot that also has a random color. We've also made the dot semi-transparent by setting the alpha value to 0.5, or 50% transparency. Do this. Figure out how many iterations, number of times the loop runs, you need to consistently fill this screen entirely with dots so none of the background is showing. It will be a little different every time, so you need to experiment. Compare what you found with a neighbor to see how close your results are on. Your results are, then move on. Hi, neighbor. All right, this icon means this level is part of a larger project. Changes will be saved. Okay, let's see what it does. Ready, and set, go, run. Uh-huh, just like we had written in the last one. Boom. All right, so how many to, to fill a screen? Let's try 500. We're getting there, but I don't think that's totally full. Um, I don't know, 2,500. Whoa, that's definitely full. Could we go less? 1,500? That's full. What about 1,000? I see some white space here. I don't think ah, that might be a little bit white. I'm going to stick with 2000. Cool. That's kind of a fun effect. All right, let's keep uh, going. 